the training's been going pretty well at the moment. Um, there's only a couple of weeks now until the trials, which are in April, so uh, I feel training's been quite strong and solid. Raced uh, last uh, couple of weekends ago in Edinburgh um, and know the little bits that I need to work on to fine tune things to hopefully get it right for April, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased. <laughs> Um, well, the major difference is actually having the Olympics in the summer. Uh, every year um, you always have a major championships in the summer and a trial sort of March, April time. And the Olympic year is no different to the other years, just by the fact that I think a lot more people get excited about the Olympics. Um, so for me, the focus is making sure that we don't change things up too much um, and try and make sure that we stick to the programme, stick to the plan and not get too carried away with the hype. <laughs> I feel pretty confident. Um, I, I'm one of those athletes that I don't like to tempt fate. I don't like to go in really cocky and saying, yeah, I'm definitely going to do this. Uh, I kind of like to keep grounded and stay level-headed. Uh, but I do feel the preparation leading into it has been pretty solid. Um, and for me, it's just a matter of making sure that I get the final little bits right so that I can put the best performance in on the day. Um, the local community spirit, especially, uh, it plays a huge part. Um, it's just that bond that you get when you come out of a training pool or when you even when I'm in swimming in Inverurie, you get people coming up and asking how training's going, um, they just seem very aware of my achievements and what I've been up to so it's, it's quite nice having that support and uh, it does make a difference when especially if you're having like a, a bad day in training or you just don't feel great, they always, the, the uh, public know how to pick you up and um, and I really do appreciate their support, so it, it's just, it's nice. I've been here pretty much all my life, um, and it's home for me, so it, you know, there's no place like home. Um, I've not really known it any other way. Uh, my dad's always been my coach. He was the one who taught me how to swim when I was three, and, um, and really, I don't think he ever expected me to make it to this level uh, in the sport, but for him it was just making sure that we were safe around uh, water. So myself and my brothers were all taught to swim by my dad. Um, and he's had a huge passion for swimming. He's worked with Olympic athletes before. He's even developed a device called an aquapacer, which is like a waterproof metronome. So he certainly knows his stuff, and I fully trust uh, and trust in his coaching and his teachings. So for me, you know, it's you know, why fix what what's not broke? So it's a more obvious choice to stick here. Um, the best way for me to unwind would be reading a book. Uh, I have a Kindle where I have hundreds of books on it and uh, I do find it quite nice being able to sit somewhere quiet and just unwind with a bit of classical music and read. Um, I love watching movies uh, and being female I am very into my shopping as well so uh, reading movies and shopping are my three ways to just completely switch off.